All right, let's get started. Uh, this is uh, going to be an introduction to the science of coffee class, and we'll just start with the goals of the class. And the goals of the class, first, is to introduce you to a variety of scientific prin principles. So we'll just write introduce a variety of scientific principles. And just to be clear, so part of this assignment, this is a lecture outline. It's one of your lecture assignments. You're going to be watching these videos and taking notes on the handouts themselves and turning them in for points. So if you weren't taking notes, pause for a minute, print out these activities or get a PDF or on an iPad or some way to write on these uh, handouts and then you're going to need to turn them in as well. So um, these are the notes. Think of this as you're sitting in lecture and you're taking notes in a lecture. Assuming we're there, then, uh, so goals of the class, we're gonna introduce a variety of scientific principles. You're gonna learn about these scientific principles. Some of them are going to be like pH, energy, um, and uh, law of conservation of mass, just to name three examples that came to me early in the course. Uh, then goals of the class as well are to introduce scientific problem solving. And have you do it, meaning that you're going to be presented with a problem and you're going to want to solve the problem. The problem is about coffee and it's about making the best cup of coffee. And so C, goals of this class is to study coffee. And when I say study coffee, we're going to study how to brew coffee. We're going to study how to roast coffee. We're going to study uh, lots of variables that will help us achieve our ultimate goal, which is D, which is to brew the best cup of coffee. Now, this is an asynchronous class, uh, so you will be making the best cup of coffee for yourself. Um, as I work through this class, I will be thinking about how to make the best cup of coffee for myself. Um, and really, um, it's, it's to make the best cup of coffee and understand and be, explain why it is the best cup of coffee. So to brew the best cup of coffee, and then E is going to be to understand and explain scientifically why it's the best cup of coffee to understand and explain why it's best and that will be very nicely tying together all of the things we need to know for this class you do have a presentation that is the end of this class where you do just that you will to put a presentation as to why you're explaining why it's the best cup of coffee, how you came to the conclusion that it's the best cup of coffee for you, what about it makes it the best cup of coffee. Now, as I'm sure you know, this is a three-unit class. And for a three-unit class, there's going to be th um, three units worth of work. And... So one unit of, uh, and this is a lecture class, so one unit of lecture, oops, sorry about that, um, equals one hour in class plus two hours out of class. So that's three hours for one unit. Now we have three units, so again, I just want to be clear about the expectations for this class. 
that's going to be, so that's three hours for one unit, so three hours per unit times three units is going to be nine hours per week. So um, not nine hours per semester, nine hours per week. And if you're doing that, then you're doing the expected amount. If you're doing less, um, then it is possible that you will not be able to complete all the activities. And uh, I'm hoping that everybody will be very interested in doing all the activities in this class. Um, now let's talk about what kind of activities there are. So first off, this is an asynchronous online class. So all of the activities will be conducted asynchronously. Uh, although, of course, I do have office hours, and I highly encourage you to come to office hours to get any questions answered. But we were going to have um, three types of activities. We're going to have lecture assignments. And for lecture assignments, there's actually going to be two types of lecture assignments. One's going to be what's called a lecture outline. And you are completing a lecture outline right now. And so anytime you see lecture outline, you should look for a handout. You should look for videos to go with it. And those videos, you will go through and take notes. One thing about the videos, so uh, please do write and take the notes that I take on the sheets. And then you'll also have to listen to all of the videos because sometimes I will tell you something to do without writing it down. And so, for example, in this corner right here, please make a smiley face right now. I will look for it when I grade them to make sure that you're listening to all the videos. Now, um, and it's not always as... Uh, um, sort of tossed in as that. Oftentimes you have to solve a particular problem, but for that one, that's what we're doing on this page. So those are lecture outlines. And again, you take, so you take notes while watching videos. And you turn in the notes for points. And then uh, other lecture assignments are just uh, videos with quizzes. And uh, the quizzes, you'll be watching the video and then all of a sudden a quiz question will pop up. You'll answer the quiz question. If you did not get it correct, watch the video again until you get it correct. <coughs> Excuse me. And just to let you know, you need to take uh, notes on these quizzes as well, because the kinds of que the questions that come up on these can and will be on your midterm as well. So, um, and you can also review and take the quizzes again. Um, but as long as you, um, so there's lots of ways to do it. But uh, so these questions, so you'll take notes. So questions. Um, can and will be on midterm. As well. So those are lecture assignments. And uh, those typically are about an hour a week to watch and answer questions and take notes. Although, again, it will vary sometimes. So uh, B is going to be homework. Homework is based on the lecture outlines. For example, this week, the lecture outline pages uh, coming up talk about the scientific method. You will see that there are homework questions specifically about the scientific method. Homework questions can and will be on your midterm as well. And then see their activities. And activities form the heart of this course. The activities are going to be, uh, for example, uh, when you make and brew the coffee uh, in week um, 
two. Yes. Well, your first. So, um, your whether it's week two or three, your first activity, um, your first real activity is going to be on the perception of taste. And you'll have a handout. You'll have uh, tutorial videos. And what I suggest is you print out the handout, you go through it, you watch the tutorial videos, and those will step-by-step -step pretty much guide you through how to do the activity and uh, what kind of results you're going to get and talk about it. And um, anyway, so for example, for perception of taste, you'll see that the handout talks, uh, gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the different solutions you're going to be tasting. And then the videos will guide you through how to prepare those solutions and then how to taste them and what kind of results you're going to get. And activities, again, are the biggest part of the class. They will probably be the biggest point part of the class uh, with homework and lecture assignments being smaller, though significant portions of the class. Uh, so make sure you plan on spending a lot of time, I would say three to five hours each week, doing the activities and writing them up to turn in. For this portion, uh, finally, I just want to review some definitions of science, a definition of science and a definition of chemistry. And um, science, the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Now, I'm a chemist. Uh, I'm actually a chemical engineer, but I teach chemistry. I play a chemist on TV. Chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the identification of the substances of which matter is composed, the investigation of their properties, and the ways in which they interact, combine, and change, and that part deals with chemical reactions, and the use of these processes to form new substances, so doing new reactions. Uh, personally, my branch of chemistry or chemical engineering has to do a lot with surfaces, and there's a lot of surface chemistry when you talk about coffee. For example, uh, when you grind up the beans, the finer you grind them, the more particles you get and the more surface area you get. And we'll talk about that as part of this course.